Good morning, viewers. Welcome to this episode of Planet K. And as you know, last Sunday was World Tourism Day. And when we think of the bodies that have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, we must think of tourism first. And when we think of tourism, we think of Uganda Wildlife Authority. So this episode of Planet K has been dedicated to the Uganda Wildlife Authority. And under the Uganda Wildlife Authority, we have come to the Uganda Wildlife Conservation Education Center. So we are trying to show you young children that Uganda Wildlife Conservation Education Center is now open to the children and to the adults. Today we are going to be dealing in the children's zoo to show children that the Uganda Wildlife op Education Center is now open. You can come, enjoy your day at the Uganda Wildlife Conservation Education Center from the children's zoo to viewing all other animals so that we can support this organization, especially because you know the COVID-19 has really hit it. So you can come and see what the COVID-19 has done. And you can also see the SOPs that have been put in place to protect the, the children and the animals and the people from the spread of the virus. So you are most welcome to the Uganda Wildlife Conservation Education Center. Enjoy this episode of Planet K. Thank you. We are proud of you. washing our hands here why we are doing this is we want to keep the animals safe so that we don't they don't have any problems and you know the animals have life and you know before COVID came like these procedures were not carried out as strictly but now we need to wash our hands as you saw at the entrance we had to step in the foot bath now here we are going to handle the animals we need to wash our hands so that the animals can stay safe and we can also stay safe and we're also going to disinfect our hands so that the animals can stay safe we all stay safe and they cannot die most welcome young children. So as we are finished sanitizing and washing our hands, now we are going for petting the animals. And you may wonder what petting is. Petting, you just put the animal on your lap and you just feel the animal. You touch it, you get that connection with the animal so that you can love the animal and so that when you go home you can also rear these animals and they can become friendly. Is that okay? Yes. So what is petting? Petting is Okay, then what makes it fun? It's so soft and it's so soft. nice and smooth. Okay. So are you enjoying putting your feet? Yes. What do you like about your feet? Okay. Then why do you like for green feet? They are sweet, they are fat, they are short. Are you enjoying your rabbit petting session? Yes. How does the rabbit feel? <laughs> it feels good. Is it soft? Oh. It's very soft. Eh? Why do you like rabbits? Why do you like rabbits? Yeah. 
this. Gorilla Munido. What's your name? My name is Jentara and I'm Sierra. How old are you? I am seven years old. Which class are you in? P2. Which school do you go to? Lobo Junior School Mokon. Okay. Have you enjoyed your experience here at the Uganda World Life Conservation and Education Center? Yes. What have you enjoyed most? The bunnies. The bunnies. Why do you like them and why of all things have you enjoyed the bunnies? They are soft. They are soft? Eh? Yes. Okay. So what do you have to tell your colleagues out there about the Uganda World Life Conservation and Education Center? It's fun and hurry. It's going to be soon God is coming. Soon God is coming. Yes. Okay. So why I think this petting session is very important because when the client touches and feels the animals, they create a bond with the animal. And when they create a bond with the animal, tomorrow they can come and they they can also they can teach others about the animals. So that in future when someone sees a snake, they don't kill it. They can call the Uganda Wildlife Conservation Education Center. They come and rescue it. In future, when this person sees someone cutting down trees, they won't look on, they'll be like, what you're doing is not right. It creates a bond. And it also helps to conserve the animals. So that when the children are growing up, they grow up knowing that animals help us. We need animals as much as they need us. So that's why I think this is a very important thing. And that's why I encourage parents to bring their children out there to the Uganda Wildlife Conservation Education Center so that they can learn about these things, so that they can grow up knowing and loving animals. So all parents out there, I encourage you to bring your children to come yourselves to enjoy the Uganda Wildlife Conservation Education Center. Thank you. Today, this session has just been wow because the bond that you create with that animal, I think that gave me pink like me, eh? It's so so. And also, I would also like to encourage parents to bring their kids here to the Wildlife Educational Center so that they can learn how to create a nice bond with animals. Like he said, we sh when we find animals, we should not just kill them, we should also call the Wildlife Educational Center to come and rescue them. And I would also like to encourage you kids to keep on, okay, keep on helping hand in hand with your parents such that Maybe if you do a good deed, they can either bring you here. And I also like to talk to parents. They shouldn't just stay home. They should know that the Wildlife Educa Educational Center is open. And they should bring their kids here to have fun, create new friends, bond with animals, and also learn how to feed them and take care of them. Like we saw how Sierra, she, okay, Sierra is really good with animals. She has a special bond with them. And maybe you never know your kid might have that great bond. And that's why you should bring them to the Wildlife Educational Center. Thank you. The Children's Zoo is supposed to help the children learn from the known to the unknown. In this Children's Zoo, we have both domestic animals, wild animals, but of smaller size where the children can interact with these animals. They can pet them, they can learn and get a connection between the animals as a way of inculcating the spirit of conservation and passion for wildlife among these children. And so from the Children's Zoo, when they learn from the known to the unknown, they learn how to milk cows, they learn how to understand the adaptations of a particular animal. So, from the known domestic animals, we now introduce them to the unknown wild animals, so that we teach them from the known to the unknown. It is a connection between the known and unknown. So the Children's Zoo is a very strong component of our conservation education program because it introduces the child to the passion and love for conservation by knowing some of the domestic animals they have been interacting with before and then go to the unknown. So it creates a connection between the known and the unknown. 
it gives them a comparison about all the characteristics of the domestic animals and the wild animals for them to compare the two. So it makes them learn and appreciate the coexistence of human beings and animals, the coexistence or the need of the domestic animals and the wild animals. And through that, we create passion, we create a connection between the children and the animals. In the long run, we achieve their passion for conservation. I want to inform all the parents and children out there that the zoo is open. We opened it to the public. We put in place all the standard operating procedures, including sanitization, checking of the temperature, putting on masks, as well as social distancing while within the zoo. I want to invite all parents, come with your children. The zoo is a place where you can come, see animals and plants, learn about them, as well as enjoying while here. So you see, learn, but also enjoy. So I want to inform the public that amidst COVID-19, we put in place the relevant and required standard operating procedures. Bring your families to the ultimate dest destination for a family. Here at the zoo, you have the longest beach line in Uganda, 360 meters. You have the best student play area around with all the SOPs in place. We sanitize them, we check the temperature, the social distancing. Children of the same family will go on the play materials and after that we shall sanitize come and see and learn about the various animals. Now we are introducing a new product. We are introducing a pair of tigers which last existed in Uganda in the 70s. So I want you to come, bring your children to look at the different members of the cat family. The tigers, the lions, the cheetahs, so that they can be able to differentiate between the various um, cats, as including the, the cheetahs that we also have here. So I'm um, calling upon you, come, you will be safe, come to the best domestic tourism destination, Entebbe Zoo, and you will not regret.